Hi and welcome to this video. So today I'm unboxing a Shoppies doll and we have the super cute Blossom Apples. Um, now as you can see on the side here, I have quite a big collection of Shoppies dolls and I've unboxed quite a few on my channel before. I'll link a playlist of that down below and you'll be able to see my collection videos there and other unboxings and all stuff like that. I definitely recommend checking out my collection videos if you'd love to see this bookcase here in more detail. Um, but anyway, yes, yeah, so we're opening Blossom Apples today. She's super cute. I don't normally like green colours or quite bright colours, but she's just adorable. I love her hair. She's got a really innocent little face. This is on the back here, Girls' Day Out, so maybe that was the line. Uh, discover the fun of Shopville, where the Shoppies and their Shopkins friends love to hang out. There's so much in store to adore when you plan a Girls' Day Out. She looks almost like... I don't know why I'm getting like strawberry shortcake vibes or something like quite innocent and like childish which is really cute. So over here it says cute to the core, never afraid to take a bite out of life, Blossom Apples is always ready for her next adventure. Fresh faced and sweet to the core, she can sometimes get a bit over the top about the benefits of apples. But when it comes to the crunch, she'll always go out on a limb for you. And it says her favourite hobby is apple picking. Um, and her best friend is Corey Cupcake and Candy Apple. So they're the two little Shopkins we'll get with her. Um, and her favourite place to shop is the Big Apple Juice Bar. So there's not much else to say about her. So let's open this up. So here is her VIP card. So these are quite cute. Um, these are actually really nice quality, like the way it's kind of embossed and everything and the illustration and the sort of shimmer to it. So I do like to keep these. I don't use the app or anything, but I do like to try and display these. My display's kind of falling down at the moment. I kind of have these up on like a pegs and a bit of string, so I need to sort of sort that out. Or I might find a different way to kind of store these or display these. But yeah, I do think these are really cute. So that's what her card looks like. And then we have a little Shopkin. So we have this one here. And then we also have this one, which is like a little candy apple. I mean, these are pretty cute, but generally I'm not a huge fan of these. I used to display the brush and the Shopkins and everything with the doll, but now I just keep the doll. And usually I like sell these in a bundle on eBay in case people want spare bits and pieces. But I mean, don't get me wrong, they are cute. But for me, I just like collecting the dolls, so I don't usually display the extra little bits anymore. Plus it just takes up space. I'd rather fit in more dolls because I try and squeeze them all in the bookcase. And then we have her little stand. Now also, I'm not a massive fan of these stands. I prefer just the normal disc ones. Um, but yeah, we do have this one so you can pop both the Shopkins on as well. And then here she is. She is so cute. It's always nice sort of coming back to Shoppies after opening some other dolls. Like for example, I've opened a lot of hair adorables and stuff like that. And then when you come down to Shoppies, you realize how nice the hair is. I mean, just like the fringe, it's so soft and it's so neat as well. Like a lot of dolls with fringes, it's always like going like different directions and not very flat to the head. Um, she's got these really cute little pigtails as well. There are some little loose bits at the end here, but I'll be able to just snip that off with my hairdressing scissors. But yeah, I love that she's got these little apples in her hair and you can actually see the blossoms there. Her outfit's very simple. You've got the moulded plastic top and the soft little skirt. And I love that the pattern's apples here. I think that's really cute. And then we have her little shoes. These are kind of strange. They're almost a bit like clown shoes but it's cute because it's very childish and i like that i'm not always into the really tall mature trendy fashionable dolls i do prefer like cutesy and an innocent looking um someone actually said to me these dolls look kind of like japanese almost and i kind of see that actually with the faces and that and the, the very kawaii and i love that sort of stuff so here she is on the stand with her little shopkins just for the sort of sake of the video so we can see it like that um, but like I said I'll probably be displaying her on her own I'll have to see if I've got some spare like of the normal disc stands but yeah I absolutely love her she is so cute let me know what you think of her down in the comments below her hair and her face is probably puts her up to like a, a top 10 doll for me you know just for those elements um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I've definitely still got a few more shoppies to unbox, so stay tuned for those. Um, check out my Instagram, it's Nadie's Kawaii Corner. Um, I'd love if you could follow me there. I post lots of pictures of all sorts of toys and dolls and other stuff too. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!